Hello, uh, my name is Paul Watson. Uh, Sandy wanted me to uh, record a bit um, about myself, and um, Sandy is a very, a very, uh, very nice person. We've been working together uh, in the cardiac monitoring company for uh, since uh, 2020, uh, October 2020 is when I started with the company. Sandy's been in it longer than I have, um, but. Uh, so, um, just a little bit, um, we're, we're, we're in Macon, Georgia. Um, Senny was, uh, had come here, uh, visiting and I'm very, um, pleased, uh, that we were able to meet. Um, but, uh, I wanted to, he wanted me to talk a little bit about myself and, um, I, um, was born and raised in, uh, Kansas, a small town in Kansas. Um, my uh, parents were a little bit older um, when when I was born, but um, like I said, I was born in a small town. Um, it, it's interesting that um, the rest of my family uh, were not with us. What my mom and I, when when I was born, they were in Saigon in in South Vietnam, and and my dad had worked. He was a civil engineer, and he worked for a company. Um, an engineering company that uh, had contracts with the uh, uh, U.S. military <clears throat> um, in Vietnam during the Vietnam War. Uh, so we were there, and um, uh, before I, a little bit before, before I was born, I was born in uh, 1967. Um, and uh, very interesting. I, I still remember um, small little snippets of of, of Saigon, the city. Uh, which is, of course, Ho Chi Minh City right now. Um, but, uh, and so, so throughout that period, um, it was very interesting. Of course, you know, the Vietnam War is very tumultuous. But um, we, um, we left uh, Vietnam, or, or rather, sorry, my wife, I mean, my, my mother um, came back to the States um, to have me. She didn't want me to be born in, in a military hospital in Vietnam. So we came back to the States and where I was born, uh, like I said, a small town called Concordia, Kansas. Um, so then we flew back to, to Vietnam and um, we were actually one of the last commercial flights when we left um, Vietnam. Um, came back to the States and uh, so I um, was raised um, a majority of my childhood, all my childhood actually, um, in Kansas, um, north central Kansas, we eventually moved to the eastern part of the state where there was a university. Um, and uh, I went to high school um, uh, in Manhattan, Kansas. And uh, uh, and then when I graduated high school, I went to college for a bit. Um, initially, I was in a, a nuclear engineering program. Um, quickly <clears throat> realized that... Uh, that was not the field for me. Uh, I was upper level mathematics and I just don't get along. <laughs> so um, I uh, had changed my major to uh, uh, medical technology initially. Um, my studies were not going where, well and, and really um, I, I didn't really know as, as a young adult uh, really exactly where I, what I wanted to do with my life. Uh, my career choice and such. I just um, so I thought it was a good idea to, um, uh, join the U S military. And, um, uh, um, I did, I, 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 enlisted in, in the United States Navy. Um, I was in a delayed entry program. Um, and then a few months later, uh, I shipped out to San Diego and that's where I went to boot camp. <clears throat> I went to boot camp, San Diego. It, it's, it's interesting that growing up in Kansas, um, uh, I had joined the Navy to see the world, um, and uh, I, I didn't see I didn't see the world. I went to um, basic training in San Diego. Um, I uh, I went to uh, basic uh, medical training in San Diego um, at the Naval S School of Health Science. Um, advanced training in San Diego. I was an advanced la laboratory technician in the Navy, and so I was excited. I um, I, I wanted to see the world. 
and uh, I, I put in my, my choices to be stationed. I, I wanted to be stationed either in the Philippines or on an aircraft carrier or uh, my last choice was the Naval Hospital in San Diego. And guess what? <laughs> I got the Naval Hospital in San Diego. I never left the States in, in the U.S. Navy. Um, I was hospital based. I was never actually stationed on ships. So it was very interesting. Um, <clears throat> that is where I met my wife, uh, Vicki. And we've been married um, for, for over 30 years now. Um, we have five children. Um, Abigail, Joshua, Hannah, Benjamin, and Levi. Age, rage, uh, age ranges from 28 years old down, down to 16. Um, my younger two boys are still living with us at home, 16 and 20. Um, and, um, but in, in, the, in the Navy, I worked um, in hospitals mainly. Uh, I worked in a laboratory. Um, initially, in the, in, the, in the Navy, I was stationed in the blood bank. Um, so I did a lot of blood banking in the, in, in the Navy after I got out of the Navy. Um, I, I, again, I, I still worked in hospitals. Um, I worked in a trauma center um, when I was in San Diego. Um, trauma units are very interesting, very fast-paced, very, uh, but, but it's a lot of stuff to learn. Um, we, uh, we collected blood samples. We, we did blood gas analysis. We did uh, you know, various other kinds of things to quickly get those results to the doctor so they can treat the patient. Um, had, I saw many patients uh, pass away, unfortunately. That's part, all part of the learning process. Um, but um, <clears throat> so initially, we, uh, we were in San Diego in California until about um, 1999. And then um, we decided to, um, to, to move out of state. And um, my wife had processed in the military initially in Texas. Um, and that was her home state of record. And so we decided, well, we'll just move back to Texas. And so we were in a Dallas-Fort Worth area from 99 to, for almost 20 years. Um, and um, I worked in a couple of hospitals since then. Um, at, at one point, um, I started working for a, um, it was a company called Cooper Institute for Aerobics Research, and that was in Dallas. I ran the blood lab there, um, and uh, that was good. It was a good experience. Um, and... Um, there, I worked with exercise physiologists there. Uh, very interesting field. But, however, we ran into uh, financial uh, issues and, uh, and, and I was laid off. Um, and um, um, I worked for um, a software company um, that uh, made laboratory uh, software for use in small, small labs and, and uh, other systems for, um, for hospitals. Um, and so I was training uh, individuals how to, how to how to program that software and how to how to utilize it in the laboratory um, and once again I was laid off from that um, and so <clears throat> kind of bounced around a little bit I worked for staffing companies for a bit until I landed in um, I didn't know anything about the um, electrocardiograms um, I performed them before but I never interpreted um, and so this company had uh, was offering uh, to bring people on, and then and they would uh, train uh, people for uh, being ECG technicians to interpret the ECGs and uh, to prepare, prepare reports for the doctors, and and so that's what I started doing. And then I was in 2011, um, and uh, I've been doing um, ECG stuff ever since. Um, my uh, like I said, most of my my, my kids are are out of the house. Um, my oldest, um, is, uh, lives around Atlanta. So not too far from here in Macon. Um, it's about an hour and a half, two hours north of us. And, um, and her and her husband are doing well. Um, my other daughter, I have three boys, two girls. So both my daughters are married. Um, my three boys are not married yet. Um, my boys want to do various things. Um, um, my daughter's. Um, not in the medical field, but that's okay. You know, they, they wanted to do something on their own and, uh, which is perfectly fine. Um, but, um, and, uh, <clears throat> so again, that's, uh, so the company I, <clears throat> that I work for, uh, Senny has been working for, for a number of years. Um, 
I think not long after his uh, after the the start of the company, Cindy has been there. So he's a he's a veteran. <laughs> um, I I I really like working um, for the company, and since I've been starting to get to know Cindy, um, I think we have a, a common sense of humor. <laughs> he's uh, he's a great guy to work with, and uh, I have a number of questions I've asked him, and he's helped me quite a bit. And uh, we have a good uh, working relationship. Um, I hope to maybe um, uh, go to India someday uh, and visit uh, where Cindy was uh, was born and raised, and uh, that would be nice. Um, um, so yeah, we kind of changed venues a little bit here, um, but uh, this this is a hotel where uh, Cindy and I um, met at. And um, uh, I understand that he's uh, with his church um, here. They're going. They're doing a, a four-day conference, um, and uh, but I did. Um, I, I don't know if very many uh, of you are, from, are very familiar with uh, with Georgia. Um, in, in in the summers, it can get very humid, <laughs> and uh, it's rather warm. Um, it's, it's different than Texas heat. Uh, but, uh, but Georgia, I love Georgia. We moved here in, uh, 2018. Um, so about six years ago, it doesn't seem like it's been that long, but, um, and, uh, so we've been here that long and, um, I love the state. It's beautiful. Um, lots of trees, lots of, a lot of history around here. I, I love history. Um, I, I like, uh, early history, early U S history. Um, and uh, we visited many places. We, we, there's the mountains, Blue Ridge Mountains, Smoky Mountains are not far from here. Um, we've been to North Carolina and Tennessee and uh, Kentucky. We saw the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln. So a lot of stuff around here. A lot of, like I said, a lot of history. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of things to do around here. It's very nice. Um, um, so that kind of brings me to. Um, Kind of the gist of uh, the, the, the video, um, I wanted to talk about um, my uh, conversion to um, Christianity. I, honestly, I wasn't raised um, in a Christian family. Um, I, um, I would have considered myself a, um, an, uh, an evolutionist. Um, and uh, I didn't really necessarily have a belief. Um, in, in, in a particular God. I don't know. I, I re again, I just don't think I was very religious. And, um, uh, and so uh, as I was initially going to college and um, then, then I started working when I was between, between semesters. Um, and uh, I met um, uh, um, one of my coworkers uh, who, who was a Christian. He never really initially, um, talked about his faith and, uh, but, but, but eventually, um, I think I mentioned in passing something about, um, about Christianity. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, uh, a few days after that, um, he invited me to, um, to, to meet with him and his pastor and, um, and talk about, um, Talk about Christianity, and and really, long story short, um, they explained the gospel message to me. Um, I, I, I wanted to embrace that. I wanted to know. Um, I wanted to know, you know, the purpose of my existence, and uh, and that began my journey uh, with Christ. And that was in uh, in the summer of 1989. Um, Seems like just yesterday, um, <clears throat> but uh, it's it's been a very interesting uh, journey uh, since then. I, uh, the the Lord has brought me through so many things. He's blessed me with a family, um, five wonderful children, and um, but but I had meaning. I had uh, I had purpose. I had. Um, the, the, you know, the world is such a crazy place. Uh, it's so many changes, so many uh, kind of weird, bizarre things 
a lot of confusion happening going on. And, um, and, I, and I think the answer to that, and uh, solution to that, is, is, is a relationship uh, with God through the person of Jesus Christ. Um, and I'm not talking about religion there. Um, I, don't, I don't consider Christianity um, it, uh, a religion. Religion is man-made. Religion is, um, you know, doing a list of things to um, warrant um, um, God's favor. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's a way for, God, for, for man to try to reach God, um, try to attain some level of godliness, if you will. Um, but, with, but with the gospel message, uh, the gospel means good, good news. Um, the good news is that uh, Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross, and he was raised in three days, and which confirmed um, to the world uh, what, he, what he said about himself. And it, it was a proof, if you will, um, that all the things that he was saying were, were true, um, mainly that he was God in the flesh, and he'd come to redeem the world. Um, because, you know, the gospel, you know, the, the Bible says that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And, and what that basically means is um, the word sin is actually an old uh, English uh, archery uh, term. And sin means the exact center of, of the bullseye. Uh, excuse me. Um, in, in archery, the, the idea is to get in the center of the bullseye. But anything... Um, a part outside of that exact center is, called, is what's called sin. Um, and in the same way, um, God's uh, desire for human beings is to, um, is it really to be perfect. Um, his original design with Adam and Eve in the garden, things were perfect. Um, unfortunately, sin entered, entered the world. And, uh, but even then, God had a plan and purpose. Um, and, um, and when Jesus Christ uh, came to die for our sins on the cross, that was the fulfillment of his plan. Um, and so, uh, but, but again, I'd mentioned that uh, Christianity is not um, a religion, but it, it is a relationship. It's a very intimate, uh, deep relationship uh, with the God of the universe. And, 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 and who doesn't want to know, you know, the, 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 the being responsible for, for making everything that we know of. Um, what person really does not want to know? Uh, I think that that's man's ultimate question is, um, why are we here? And, um, and, and, and I believe that, um, um, that God answers that question. Um, and he, uh, through the person of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ, um, in, in the gospel messages in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, it explains his life, it explains his birth, his, uh, his life, his ministry, and, um, um, and the fulfillment of that uh, was his uh, death on the cross and his resurrection from, from, from the dead. And, and I had mentioned before that you know, his resurrection is proof, it uh, provides validity um, to, to what he said of himself. Um, that he is the son of God. He is, uh, actually scriptures mention that he is the exact representation. Um, he's essentially, if you want to know uh, who God is and his characteristics and his, you know, you just look at the person of Jesus because um, the Bible says that he's a visible manifestation of the invisible God. So, um, uh, an embrace of Jesus and that re brings that relationship with God and it's a dynamic relationship. And in other words, it's, uh, it's, it's um, God leads and guides um, through, through his word and through the Holy Spirit who is indwelled in us. Um, and um, so as Christians, um, we are, uh, you know, Je Jesus uh, gave, the, gave the instructions to his disciples and to all followers that would, that, that would come after them. That uh, we are to uh, share the gospel, uh, we're to, to to spread the good news, um, to share our faith, and you know our, our faith was not meant to uh, be kept in a box, um, not meant to be kept just you know 
um, inside of us. Um, you know, my, my feeling is that I have that peace and I have that joy and I want other people to, to know that peace and joy, you know, through, through the, the, all the, the craziness that's go, that, that goes on in the world. You know, I think, uh, one, one misconception people may have about, uh, about Christianity is that after you accept Christ, you know, things are great. Things are perfect. Things are, you know, we're walking with God and, and it's, it's, it's going to be great. But, uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, Jesus said that, that you will suffer persecution. You will suffer um, because of, of him. In, in other words, um, the world system is, um, God, for God, you know, the famous gospel verse, you know, John three sixteen, 16, uh, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever should believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Um, famous verse you know a lot of people know that verse um but it says that for god so loved the world um god doesn't love the world's system and and the ways of society and culture uh, god loves people and if there was there was a, another major thing i would like want to emphasize to people is that god loves you so much so passionately you know someone you have this this idea of god that he's uh He's kind of a um, um, this this judge that uh, you know is 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 wants to he correct us. He wants to you know discipline us. He uh, um, but but that's not God's character. I mean there there there's a part of God that is uh, love. You know First John the book of First John talks about how God is love and he loves us passionately as people and you, you know if you're watching this you you have to understand that you have to understand um that uh you know when other and I, I reference the bible a lot because that's that's what i live by and that's what christians are supposed to live by is, is god's word but um another scripture verse says um that god demonstrated his own love toward us in that while we were yet sinners in other words while we were doing our thing, while we were not looking to God, we weren't, um, you know, uh, we didn't necessarily want to have anything to do with God. But God still sent his son um, to die for us. And um, that speaks to um, the passion and, and, and the love and the concern and the care that God has for us. You know, he doesn't want us just to flounder on our own. Um, and and kind of go from day to day and just not knowing um, being um, you know in this world that uh, is ever changing but rather he wants to be an intimate part of our lives and help us to 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 live this life um, and so again you know God Jesus told his disciples um, to, to, to spread the gospel and and since that day um, after he was taken into heaven, um, that's our mission is to, is to spread the gospel and, um, the gospel is spread, um, across the world, uh, reaching many tons of nations. Um, and there, there will be a point where, um, um, the Bible talks about that Jesus is returning again. Um, when he came initially, yeah, it was for a purpose to, um, to take the punishment of, of that, that we all really uh, have warranted by, by our sin. Um, he came to take that punishment for us. Um, and, and, and by the way, um, I mentioned that God is love, but, uh, but God is also a God of, um, of justice. And, um, you know, if, if the, there, you know, if there was no consequence for our actions, um, then, you know, God would not be a God of justice and, but he is a God of justice and he, uh, he demands, um, that, um, that sin be taken care of. Um, and, uh, but he did, <coughs> uh, <coughs> he, he, he did fix the sin problem and eventually he's coming back and, um, and the Bible talks about how he will establish a kingdom here on earth. Um, and, and as Christians, we, we believe that. 
Um, but again, you know, our job right now is to uh, spread the gospel message um, to whoever will listen. And, um, and, and we do it, one, because God uh, tells us to. And Jesus instructed us to do that. And also, too, you know, there's one thing that Jesus said that uh, you know, if, if you love me, you'll, you'll obey my commandments. And um, again, it's not as a school teacher. Um, it's not as a, uh, a disciplinarian that he, uh, he says that. Um, he, uh, he very much, again, wants us to, to be God-centered. And, uh, and, and with that, God leads and guides. And ultimately, we know that our life is in his hands. And, and nothing happens outside of his will. So why would I, why would I walk away from that? And um, to deal with his world on my own when, when God wants to help us. So, so again, Jesus said that you, if you love me, you'll obey my commandments. And, and one of those things, one of those commandments is to, that we are, are to share faith. And, and we're not ashamed of the gospel, as Paul says. You know, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of, of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation to everyone who believes. And, and, uh, and so... Uh, we, we share a faith uh, knowing that it has power, not from us, but from the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit who, who, uh, conv who um, gives conv brings conviction and uh, to help people to, um, and, and, th and through the, the reading of his word, the preaching of his word, um, it's that word and that's a conviction of the Holy Spirit that brings about um, um, repentance. And it's... Um, and a repentance is essential in the gospel message that uh, um, re repent that your sins may be uh, blotted out. Uh, repentance is turning from sin. And, uh, and the Bible says to repent and to trust in Jesus um, as, your, as your Lord and Savior, acknowledging who he is. Um, we, we, we can't say with, with that word without sin because everybody has sinned before. Um, everybody has done things wrong. Um, if you look at the Ten Commandments, uh, which are basically God, God's moral law, uh, we've all broken that law. Uh, we've all either told a lie, we've all stolen something, we've all used God's name in vain, uh, OMG, or say in the name of Jesus Christ in a derogatory manner. Um, that's called blasphemy. We've, um, uh, this is a big thing with men. <clears throat> Jesus said, if you, if you look upon a, a woman with lust, You've committed adultery with her in your heart already, uh, so we've broken that commandment, um, and um, so we've all broken um, God's moral law, and and the Bible says, and for that, for the wages of sin is death. Um, sin brings um, death. Originally, in the, in the creation uh, with Adam and Eve, they were meant never meant to die. Um, but when sin came into the world, then started death. Um, you ever wonder why um, we die? Um, it wasn't part of God's original plan. Um, so, uh, so as a result of, of, of the commandments that we've broken, and everyone's broken them, you know, we have to face God on Judgment Day. Um, and, and, and so the question is, you know, when you face God on judgment day, knowing that you've broken his moral law, um, what is God supposed to do? Um, apart from Christ, for those who don't know Jesus, who have not, um, confessed him as Lord and Savior, then the Bible says that we're, we are condemned and, and we will face eternal judgment in hell. Um, but for those who have embraced Jesus, um, then we're, we're accepted by God and, and, and we will spend forever with God, um, in heaven. And so I want people to know that, uh, you have to come to an understanding, um, of who Jesus is, uh, uh the God who, uh, designed us and made us and he passionately loves us, but he also 
is a God of justice. And, and so we need to understand that we have sinned against a, um, a perfect God. And, um, and we need to turn from those sins. We need to repent. We need to trust in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Um, that's the, basically the gospel message. And, uh, and, and I'm hoping that anyone who sees this will come to that understanding, that knowledge of, of, of Jesus Christ. And 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 turn from 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 Bible says from turn from death to life, having life. Uh, the moment you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, from that day um, starts the life and the life that, that God meant for you. And and while we still you know live in this world, we still have trial. We still have um, um, pain and, and tribulations. Um, God has promised to, to be there with it, with us through all. And Jesus said he will never leave us nor ever forsake us. So embrace Jesus. Embrace that. And, and come to, to a knowledge of the gospel message. And um, so that's the gospel message.